Hello, my name is Jerome. I'm calling from Small Claims Court regarding case 549-73B for a court appearance on January 18th. It seems you did not appear in court on that date, and we ruled in favor of the plaintiff. Okay, uh, what, what county is this? Your system calls your phone. I don't put in the wrong number unless you recently got a new phone. Uh, I, I did recently get a phone. I've only had this yeah, phone number. Yeah, I understand all that. Yes, sir. According to the court document, you had a property claim that was brought up in 2017. This is usually with either an outstanding utility bill, cell phone bill, or some yes, sort of maintenance stuff or something like that. I don't know. Yes, sir. Can you give me, can you give me more detail? Well, regardless, this is a call to straighten out a claim of $2,073. This payment is due no later than March. Hi, I'm Big Jim Country Boy, and I um, wanted to tell you about this phone scam going around. A lot of people are getting duped. Um, they hold you on the phone and make you go buy gift cards and everything else and ring up your credit cards and empty your bank account and everything else telling you you're going to jail for some odd reason, like uh, there was a car found rented in your name with uh, blood all over it and um, bolt holes in the driver's seat and crazy crap like that telling you that you're going to go to prison for it if you don't buy them gift cards. And there's a problem with your social security number, which makes no sense when you play it out. If you had a problem with Social Security, they wouldn't call you on the phone. They would send you a letter. And if the police wanted you, they wouldn't call you at all. They'd come and knock on your door and, and take you or talk to you. So uh, we're going to give them a call back, and we're going to see here. Now, basically, the, the, the phone, I answered it, and they said that there's a problem with my Social Security number. It's been deactivated or canceled. I have to call them and find out why. So listen along. This is what we're going to do on speakerphone. By the way, this number is 800-300-7412 to call me. Uh, you said Social Security Administration? Um, yeah, I got a call from you that said I had to call right away that my number was canceled or something. My social security number, you canceled it. So right now your line is being connected with Officer Mike Miller and you read Social Security Administration. So when did you receive a call like this? Oh, just within the last 10 minutes. Okay. And uh, is there a Mr. Just of takeaway? I'm sorry, say that again. May I know who I'm speaking with? Because I'll go ahead and give you my information. Oh, it's Jim. And what's your last name? Uh, Wilson. You say your first name is Jim. Well, James. It's James Wilson. I go by Jim, sir. Okay, Jim. J-I-M, right? Yes, sir. And your last name is Wilson? Yes. Okay, and can you verify me your zip code? Um, 08892. Okay. And lastly, in order to make sure that I'm speaking with the right person and giving you the right information, can you verify me the last I just gave you the last four. You want all of it? It was four, five, three, two. Yes. Is this going to take long, sir? I'm late to pick my kids up. They're at the high school playing basketball tonight. Well, what is this about, sir? Uh, sir, there is a, like, a weekend here. There is a new producer. It's under your name, like, money laundering and drug trafficking. So, the 
Money laundering and drug trafficking charges against my social security number? Well, somebody else must be on drugs because that couldn't be further from the truth. So let me guess. You say, well, what's this about my social security number being canceled? What does that have to do with these trumped up charges? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, I can give you every permission to my record. What's the move so you, so you canceled my social security number. Is that what you said? Because of charges pressed against me? No, no, no. We, we, we got an order to cancel your social security, but we didn't do that. Oh, can you, can you cancel my social security now while I'm on the phone? Because if you cancel my social security number, I won't have to pay taxes anymore. Because that's my tax identification number when I work. They'll they'll be able to stop taking pay out of my money out of my pay every week if you cancel my social security number. And you got to lose your job No, I'm not gonna lose my job. They can't get by without me. And every bank account and whatever it's gonna be changed by the federal department. Well, if they want it, they can have it. There's three dollars in my checking account. They can have it. So let me tell you about it. Okay, we are not saying that exactly you are the one because we all did the checking past records. Okay, and we found that the bank is something to see the records. And first, you should have no other complaint in the past. All right. Well, let. Let. All right, all right, all right, listen. What do you want from me? What do you want me to do? Do I got to go turn myself into the police for these charges or what? Well, how am I going to sleep tonight with these criminal charges hanging over my head? I want to resolve this right now. My wife can go pick up my kids. What's the problem? Sarah, you got to go get the kids at the school. I can't go. I got to take care of this business on the phone. All right, sir. My wife will be picking the kids up, so I, I what do you what do you need from me? Sir, is it your social security number two four five three four or two four five three two or like four five three two? Yeah, that's it. Yep, that was it. It was four five three two. I'll be 50, the 5th of February. I was born February 5th, 1970. You're 49 years old right now. Yeah, right now, yep. Two months, I'll be 50. So you might as well call me 50, I guess. I don't know. My hair's falling out. My teeth are falling out. My hair's all gray, what I got left. My kid says it's a bird nest. It looks like a bird nest with a big egg sitting in it. My hair on my head. Yep. Because I don't know. I want to find out who you are. If you're Social Security, you know who I am. If you're the Social Security, you already know who I am and what my number is if you're calling me on the phone, so why do I got to tell you? I don't know, sir. Until you told me I didn't know you worked for Social Security, it could have been a scam, and then I give out my information, and then you could do harm with it. So now that it's the Social Security, you know who I am, so I guess that's who you are. Okay, so, uh, I got your, uh, 
Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. So, sir, uh, sir. Uh, sir, can you hold on for a second? There's someone at my door. I'll be right I'll be right back. Yes, Jeff, what's up? Did you get rid of them two bodies from last night? Yeah. I ran them through the wood chipper into the lake. The fish probably ate all of it by now. You'll have three more bodies for me to dispose of tomorrow night. All right. See you later, buddy. I'm sorry, sir. It was the farmer down the road again. All right, I'm back. Okay. Oh, it was in Texas? It was in Texas? That was probably something that happened last month when I was down there. See, I'm a commercial truck driver. I was down there in Texas last month through Al... Al yeah, I can't even spit it out. But anyway, what happened? No, I have it on me right here in my pocket. Okay. And, uh, is this... Is this about those two people I shot in that rental car down in Texas last month? Uh, I didn't get you what he did. Sir? I didn't get you what he did. I said, is this about the two people that I shot and killed in Texas last month down there in the rental car? Is that what this is about? They found the rental car I left down there? I'm asking you if that's what it's about. Last month, I shot, killed two people in Texas, and I left them down there in a the goddamn rental car in the M&F Desert. So, just, just stay at home, okay? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, say that again? Okay. Just stay at home, okay? Okay. Law enforcement. Law enforcement's coming to my doorstep for what? I guess he didn't want to talk. Let's see if we can get him back on the phone. Hmm. Oh, he hung up. Let's call him back again. Hello? 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 Hello, is this Mike Miller? We got this connected, sir. Hello? Is this Mike Miller? We just got disconnected, sir. This is Big Jim calling you back. Are you there? Hello? I'm going to hang up and call him back. I can't hear him. Maybe it's a bad connection. Yep, he hung up. All right, now we're going to switch phones here. So, uh, wife, I need your phone. You did not talk to I got to make a phone call here. Yep, you'll turn back on. Phone. They gotta change them every day to make a new phone and make it work different. Alright. 
Hello? 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 Yes, I hear with your Chinese food. Yeah, I hear with your food. You come outside get your Chinese food. I have your order. I have your order. Yeah, I have your food. I'm outside. I'm outside with your food. I have you. Two chicken broccoli, four egg roll, and one quart, one ton soup. I have your food. You order Chinese food? I have your food outside. Open yeah, door. You Take your food. Sorry? You want to make a movie? You want to make a movie? A no. Movie? No, no, no. Make a movie. I have Chinese food. You order Chinese food. You want to make porn movie? No, no movie. You Chinese make... food. You're calling the porn industry. The porn industry? What porn? Yes, you are calling the porn industry. The porn shop? You at the pawn shop? Yes. You at the yes, pawn shop? The porn industry. We make no, I don't. You, no, you, you, no, you no, you order you order Chinese food. I have Social Security you. Administration. Are you looking for a job? No, I don't need no job. I have Chinese restaurant. If you're looking for, you're looking for a job, then it's you yeah. come and get your Chinese food at the door. <laughs> No, no video about masturbate. Listen, open the fucking door and take Chinese food. It get cold. It get cold. All right, listen, I got to get back to a restaurant. I leave food outside door here. Hopefully you get for cat get it. He was trying to ask me if I wanted to be in the porn industry. He must have seen me before in the men's room or something. <laughs> Quiet in there. Hello? 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 Spit that penis out of your mouth and answer the phone. I can't hear you when you have that in your mouth, Michael Miller. Now listen, go in there and don't say nothing and be quiet. Don't even listen. All right, we're going to try calling him back again on the other phone. suggestions I'll call him on the other phone too see which one answers first hello So anyway, this is what happens when you call them out.
They play music, their stupid recording, until you go away. Answer the phone. All right, let's try this here. We're gonna call, and can we edit the number? Well, let's just start from scratch. Hello. 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 Hello? Hello? Knock, knock. Is there anybody there? Hello? Hello, is this going to take long, sir? You know, your wife's home waiting on me. You know how she gets when you make her wait. Hello? Maybe they're busy. We'll give them a minute, see if they come to the phone. You told me to call right away. Same number, mind you. Thank you for calling the Medical Alert Center. This is Jessica on a recorded line. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Great. So, uh, with our promotion today, you actually have the opportunity to receive a free medical alert device. So, congratulations. Um, you know, it's that little button you wear around your neck that you press in case of an emergency or um, even a fall. Now, when you're participating in our monitoring program, um, you actually can get your medical alert absolutely free. So uh, oftentimes it's really expensive to buy a device like this, so um, we make it really simple for you. We pay for the entire unit itself and then ship it right to your house for free. And then, um, of course, really. we guarantee you 100% <laughs> peace of mind, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So uh, let's go ahead and get you some more info on it, okay? All right. For qualification purposes, can you please provide me your age? 73. Okay, this is about my adult diapers I need, right? Please. Thank you for holding. My name is Adriana. We'll fly for 247. Without promotion today, you have been selected to receive a free medical alert system. So, congratulations. Hello? 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 I I'm sorry. You have to speak slower. I'm having trouble hearing you. I think I need new batteries in my hearing aid. Yes, sir. Just speak well, slowly and clearly, ma'am, and I should be able to understand you. I thought this was the Social Security Administration. You left me a call that said I had to call my Social Security number was deactivated. Okay, 
I need my number yeah, activated. I need my number activated so I get my check on the 15th. Sir, sometimes phone numbers change, but the wrong button gets pressed. But you have reached Life Protect 24 7. Let me get a number that will better assist you, sir. You so called me. Like you called me from this number 10 minutes ago. I hit redial. I need my social security so number so I can get my check on the 15th. Yes, sir. Well, sir, go ahead and write this number down, sir. Oh, hold on. Let me get something to write it on. Okay. The number is one eight hundred. Yes. I have one eight hundred. Five five five. Yep. One two one two. Okay. Well, why did you call me from this number? Sir, I don't know what you're talking about. Me calling you from an adversary. I hit redial. I, somebody called and a recording played and said that they deactivated my social security number and that I should call this number right away. Yes. And I yes, did. Sir, I, I, I called 1-800-300-7412. But sometimes phone number change or the wrong button gets pressed. But you have reached life for that 24 No, I hit I hit redial. I didn't dial the number, ma'am. It said one eight hundred three zero zero seven four one two. Is that your number? Sir, go ahead and call the number I just gave you to call back. What's okay. your phone number? Yeah, but five 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 one two one two, sir. Go ahead and call your number back, sir. Is this your? Be better off to assist you with your social security, sir. Is this your number one eight hundred three hundred seven four one two? Yes, sir. Well, then that's the number that called me. Well, let's call the number she said call. Toll-free directory assistance powered by AT&T. What toll-free listing would you like? Oh, it's 411. Well, let's call back that 800 number again and see who we get this time. They run so many scams, they don't know what they're doing. See, it's the same number. Hello? They hung up. They don't want to talk to me no more. I mean, it's what they call that phone spoofing. All right, let's here we go. Star 67, 800, 300. And uh, what the heck was that number again? Not familiar with her new phone. How do we get back to where we were? There it is. Seven four one two. Now it's a free Caribbean cruise for two. Ask about the hearing aids. Your call may be recorded for quality purposes. Hello? 
Hello, is this the Social Security Administration? You called and said to call this number because you deactivated my Social Security number. Hello? I dialed uh, 800 300 7412. This is not the Social Security Administration? Well, the last time I called, you wanted to sell me a goddamn medical alert device. Now you're going to give me a free fucking cruise? <laughs> Anyway, just a warning. It's a scam. So, we had a little fun with them. Um, I want to try one more here quick, if I can do it. Uh, what was the name of the app, Jim? There we go. Let's see here. All right, we're going to try this one here. All right. They hung up. For directory assistance, press 9. Free 411. Connect with State Farm to find out why more drivers choose us over any other auto insurer. Get your auto insurance quote today. And get to a better state. Now it's Press 411, the, the same number. Main menu. You can say business, government, or residential. Now, go ahead and say which one you would like. Okay, who are you? You're not going to ask me to give you a call to set up our... <laughs> well, you know, try again. It's Carmen. I'm sorry, I thought she told you oh. that I'd be calling you. Try without blocking our number. See where we go. Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm pretty good. Who is this? Your girlfriend asked me to give you a call to set up our... My girlfriend in jail. It's Carmen. I'm sorry. I thought you... All right. Let's see if I can do this through the app. Send prank. See, they hung up. They won't answer. Let's try it one more time. We're going to put over here by tokens. Nah, it's expired now. Well, it's not working. 
I'm very disappointed. Well, I guess our fun's over for today. But uh, this app's pretty cool. It hides your number temporarily, but um, today. Um, like here, it'll call somebody, but these are going to play, but it plays both parties. This is what I was going to play for those scammers. This old lady, and then the scammer would be the other person talking. Thank you for calling Dollar Zero on Diamond. This is Clayton. Hi. Do you guys have any toilet paper? We got plenty of toilet paper. Toilet paper? I need some right now. You need some right now? Well, I'm just asking you to bring some over. Who is this? Wait. This isn't Ronnie? This is Dollar General. I haven't spoken to anyone in such a long time. Please stay alive with me. I, I, I don't want to lose anyone else. Ever since my husband passed away, it's just so hard. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, darling. Could you come over and take care of me? <laughs> I don't think my wife would let me do that one. What did you say? Why would you say that to an old lady? Who is this? Oh, well, can you at least tell me a story or a funny joke? I, I haven't laughed in years. All right, I'm going to skip to another one. This one I've used with my cousins and stuff. Hello? You always get a good reaction oh, out of their wife. How are you? <laughs> I'm pretty good. Who is this? Your girlfriend asked me to give you a call to set up our... <laughs> Who's my well, girlfriend? You know. My girlfriend's in jail. It's Carmen. I'm sorry. Now, I called my cousin, and it only played the woman's voice talking. And he handed the phone to his wife, and she was screaming at this phone prank. It was hilarious. And about an hour later, my other cousin was here. He called her and was telling us all about it. And he about died when I started playing it on the phone for him. But go ahead and listen how this usually plays out. Oh, yeah. I thought you told you uh, that I'd be calling you. Uh, yeah, what's up? What you trying to do? Your girlfriend, when I met her last week, she said you guys talked about me. <laughs> Do you want to do it at my place, or should I come over to yours? You should definitely come to my spot. Just to let you know, when I do this with other couples, I like to go over to their place. That way I feel like I'm the special guest I'm meant to be. You know. <laughs> hey, look, let me tell you what. You're going to be treated like, well, you really want this. Oh, definitely want tell you about our little arrangements. She thinks I'm sexy. I kind of think she's sexy, too. <laughs> Once you send me a picture of you? Once you text me a picture of you? <laughs> you just been by PrankDial.com. Hello? Hello, this is Wong from Wong Chinese. I have the order of orange chicken, beef broccoli, a sweet and sour chicken lo mein, and all our ribs. It's ready for you to pick up. Um, I never called in no order. What? This is the number you gave me for order. Your order has been ready for half an hour. Uh, he gave you the wrong number, or you called the wrong number, sir. No, no, please, no, no. This is the number you give me on the order. You need to pick order up. No, I don't. <laughs> we cannot deliver. Well, we that shit there. That ain't mine. You have to come to Wong's Chinese restaurant. I don't have to come to Wong's shit. Well, don't order ever again. I give you a number to all restaurants, not to accept from you. You are a terrible person. <laughs> I didn't order none, bro. You are a stupid person and not good person. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what do you call okay, well, them? You order then. No, I no, didn't. I'm an ugly. You don't eat Chinese food. Boy, I don't. That shit fake as hell anyway. <laughs> that shit. I didn't get it. Hello? Hello? Where do you want? Hi, yeah, I'm your neighbor. I I'd rather not say who. Look, your dog barks way too much. My dog barks? I hear it through my walls. It it's always barking, and it's painfully annoying. Um, I, I don't live next to you, pal. It's because no, of my, my house. house. No, oh, my house. Seriously, my house. did your dog my call house. some Tourette syndrome or something? What? I'm not calling to argue. Next time I hear it, I'm calling animal control. Let me tell you something. I don't live near you. Do you think I, I'm I have, a, a, I have a rancher all by myself. 
You no, dog, I mean, no, like, bark, 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 bark. I mean, come on, we get it. You are a dog. No. <laughs> so you're sick. I mean, I know, how I, 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 my dog, my, my, dog, my dog is a dog. I have a dog all the time. Come on. I have a rancher. I have a rancher. I'm all by myself. Anyway, so nobody but, in my front, my back, or anywhere. Did you get it sometime? I'm a huge animal lover. I have a labradoodle myself. Hey, you got a problem. <laughs> Bobby Atkins. Hello. Yes. Yeah, hello. You better not hung up on me. Hello? Who is this? Yeah, I want to know who this is right now. You called me. Who am I speaking to? Let me ask you a question. Why are you calling my girlfriend in the middle of the night? Who are you referencing? Don't make excuses, boy. You tell me who you are. I don't know who you are. Who are you? Let's don't try this one. I'm a man, not a boy. So why don't you tell who you are? Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. Yeah, who's this? Yeah, I want to know who this is right now. Uh, I like to know who it is myself. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Why are you calling my girlfriend in the middle of the night? <laughs> Nobody's called nobody. You got the wrong number, and I don't know what's going on. Tell me who you are. I don't know. Listen, man, I don't know who you are. Shut up. Somebody called my number. Don't deny it, boy. Say what? You better tell me the truth right now. I'm telling you the truth. I don't know who you are, or nobody called me. I can tell you that. I don't know who you are. Somebody called my number. I don't know who this number is or who's calling my number. Don't even know what I'm talking about. I am so angry right now. You're getting me frustrated. Well, I mean, whatever. I'm getting you the wrong number. I don't know who in the hell you are. I can tell you that. Oh, I don't know who you Okay, let's try another one here. Uh, uh, These are all other people's recordings. There's a way just to view the blank ones. All right, the camera on me. This is what happens to me when I go eat at the Chinese buffet. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Hello. Uh, 
this is the Chinese buffet calling. Last time you come in, you eat way too much. You not allowed back anymore. I got your number from credit card info. This is not homeless shelter. This is restaurant. You eat all expensive food. You eat all the crab leg. You take so much food and not even eat all. I throw out full plates when I leave your table. Yeah, 就是他。我叫他永远不要再过来了。好了 ，OK, OK, OK. You no come back. You bend, 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 bend. Ah,、uh, yes. Hello, this is the Chinese buffet calling. Last time you. Sir, do you know Max? Huh? Can I speak to Sarah? Who's calling? Sarah. Yes, my name is Edward, calling you from the Grants Department. Okay. Grants Department. Grants Department. Yes. Okay. How much? And the reason is that you have been randomly selected a grant money of nine thousand dollars, which you don't have to pay back to the government once you receive this money. Okay. Okay. So how soon will I can get my check? Oh, sorry. If you apply for this grant, then we can send you check. But you can you hold on for a minute, sir? I have somebody on the other line. Hold on a minute. Hello. 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 Hola, Senor Badejo. Hello. Am I speaking to Sarah? Yes. Who's calling? Hello. Am I speaking to Sarah? Who's calling, please? Tomorrow. Hello. Hey, Max. You、yeah. there? The other guy hung up. I'm sorry. Somebody else was on the other line. So what's up,、um, brother? You said about a grant for nine thousand dollars. Yeah. So what do we got to、yeah, do to get、yeah. this grant money? Yeah. So what you need to do is, in order to collect this money, there is two options. Okay. The first option is you can receive your money through cash, like、uh, Western Union money grant. Ah、uh, yes. Yeah. The second、Hello. option is through your card. Yeah. 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 Ye
Hi, this is Janine from the library. How are you? They hung up. Hold on, we got to start over. Unfortunately. We're going to pick another one now this time. Sorry, you don't know who that was called from California before, do you? No idea. Hello? Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. Bra They hung up. Nobody wants to play. Nobody wants to play. Try to search the security pranker again. Hello? Oh, it's so good. Hello? <laughs> See, they don't like it when you prank them. Try to call on them. They keep hanging up on you. Well, nobody wants to play. Let's see if we can find one here. Let's see if we can find one of my wife's contacts. 
Let's try this one. that's that maybe we'll try again another day keep an eye out for more videos to come and as always smash that subscribe button and hammer that bell for notifications for when a new video is going to come out and uh, if you plan on shopping at walmart.com or amazon.com throw me a bone and use one of the links under my video to get you to their website you're not buying anything from me you're buying products that they sell but if you get there through one of my links, I get a small commission to help keep bringing you these videos. So until next time, over and out.